So tonight, Patreons knew this. I think I told members. I don't remember. But I actually am starting a new case today. It was a trial that is starting today. What was interesting about the trial starting today is it's all about somebody having a breaking point and when they get to their breaking point. Well, for some of you know, I hit a breaking point today and I went absolutely apeshit and I have no apologies for it because you can't push somebody and push someone and push someone and push someone for years and they finally snap and they lose their shit. Um, you can't really blame them. So again, for those of you that didn't see it, I deleted the video. Of course, haters have it, so whatever. But it really got me thinking in conjunction with this case, this trial that started today. Because enough is enough. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, you get to a point where somebody just lies and lies and lies and convolutes things or twists things or tries to make things um, sound a lot more, a lot worse than it was. Or takes something personal of my life and spins it into whatever they want it to sound like. You know, it's shit like that. That any normal, reasonable person is going to get pushed when this happens over and over and over and over. So, people think it's all fun and games until somebody gets murdered or until somebody gets shot. But even the normalest of person, or I like to say the best of us, everybody can have a breaking point. And everybody gets to a point that they're going to snap. Doesn't matter who you are. So the problem is that too many people don't take responsibility for before the person snaps. So they just think they can do whatever they want and then boom, nothing's going to happen. And then when something does happen, they play victim. There's an old line that is so true. And that line is, don't, now I forgot how it goes. Um... Oh my god, I totally forgot. Something about being a victim that, you know, stop being a victim to the drama that you created. So if you're going to push someone and lie about them and lie about them and lie about them and, again, convolute stories or make things worse than it was, don't be surprised when that person does it back to you after ignoring you over and over and over and over and over. When they finally snap, welcome Tracy or I see you remember for two months, woot woot. When somebody finally snaps... You can't blame them. And honestly, I have no apologies. People need to start looking at their own behavior, which caused somebody to say some of the things they say. Because when the person being targeted has really done nothing in the first place to warrant all of the attacks or anything that's said, then move on.